Hi guys! So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Samantha. I am a 26 year old from Ontario, Canada and six months ago I had gastric bypass surgery. So I'm just really getting into the swing of things now. Still learning every day, it's still a learning process but I am feeling a lot more comfortable in my journey now and also a lot more comfortable sharing my journey. So thank you to everyone for watching and for all of your continued support. It has meant the world to me. I'm having a really hard time finding the words to explain how exciting it is to finally have the confidence to share this journey. But ever since starting and being met with such an overwhelmingly positive response, I do not want to stop sharing. So. There's gonna be a lot more videos. So today's video is going to be all about my OptiFast journey. And OptiFast, if you don't know, is what they have in Canada. I'm not sure if they have it in other parts of the world, but it is the pre-surgical diet for bariatric surgery. And it's one of the most dreaded parts of the entire process. It's not fun. It's not fun at all, but I promise you that you can get through it. If you are pre-op right now and you're in the stream and you're really worried about it, or if you're pre-op and you're just considering it and OptiFast is one of the things that's been holding you back, I promise you that you can do it. So my OptiFast journey is a little bit different. Um, about 10 days post-op is when we finally came to the conclusion that what was going on was that I was having an allergic reaction to it. I ended up with pretty severe blistering on my lips and on my tongue and really, really severe stomach cramping, stomach pains. So it took me about, I'm gonna say about five to six days before the allergy really started to rear its ugly head. And at that point, it was the Christmas holidays, so I wasn't able to contact the hospital to tell them that I was having a reaction because they were closed. So it took about 10 days where I stayed on OptiFast. I still did what I was supposed to be doing because I didn't want to veer off the program. So on December 18th, I was given my surgery date, which meant that I was given the date that I was going to start the pre-op diet which would be December 19th. It was the day after I got the approval is when I was set to start off too fast. And I actually have a video to share with you guys of me making my very first shake and trying my very first shake. And I'm going to insert that video here so you get to see a little bit of pre-op, pre-OptiFast Sam. Um, I'm really excited that I took this footage because I also show you how big the packaging was, like how big the boxes were and how big the pouches were and also what it looked like for me every day, uh, four times a day for 10 days. So I will play that clip now for you guys. Hey guys, so today is the day, it's December 19th and I'm going to be trying OptiFast for the first time. <laughs> So I'm really nervous, but it is what it is. Um, these next four weeks and five days are going to be a long time for me, I feel like. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. I've heard a lot that um, I will end up liking them. I might not like them today or tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, but... I should end up liking them by the end of it, apparently. I'm going to go out today and there is a couple different places that we're going to try to find um, the skinny syrups so that I can put some flavorings in them. Um, and also we're going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to get stuff to prep myself and Craig for the next few weeks. Um, so I'm going to get a lot of sugar-free jello, a lot of broth. Let's cut to me prepping the Opti. So this is what we're currently working with. There is a whole wall of OptiFast here. Um, and this is gonna be today's flavor all on his own because I don't have anything to flavor him with. So 
let's see how this goes. So I will be putting in um, about a cup to two cups of water. So I'm gonna get that ready right now. Okay, so as far as I've read, you're supposed to do one to two cups of water. This says 300 mils, so I might try that and see how that goes. Okay. And I'm gonna do this in my magic bullet. smells just like the shakes that I used to drink on the Dr. Bernstein diet. It doesn't smell bad at all, but let's see how it tastes, I guess. Okay, let's go over to the blender. Okay guys, so here we go. I'm gonna get my straw out and try to make this a little bit easier. So. This is what I've been dreading this whole time. So we're gonna see how this goes. Here we go. It's not bad, but definitely next time I will add more water to it. It's very thick. <laughs> I'm really nervous to see how um, the vanilla is gonna taste but to be honest this really isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be though this is day one and I have the feeling that I'm gonna get sick of this pretty quick so today if I can find some flavors I'll be happy okay so first shake down and I'm feeling pretty good about that it wasn't that bad it almost tastes a little bit like a brownie but it was pretty chalky so I'm definitely gonna add more water next time and I'm really excited to hopefully find some of the flavored syrups today. So that was me enjoying my first OptiFast shake and realizing that they actually didn't taste as bad as I thought. But I will just say that as time went on, it gets really sickening to drink something so sweet and really thick over and over and over again. So that was like the worst part, hands down was just the repetition, trying to mix it up with different flavors, but any of the flavorings that you put in just add sweetness. All I can say is that you will get through it. Like I said, if you're pre-op, it goes by faster than you think. You get done and over with, and then you get to have your surgery. It's just one more step, and if you're really committed to this journey, you can do it. So I wanted to show you guys um, some of the things that I bought to add in to my shakes. So I'll insert a little picture of that here. I ended up getting some skinny syrups, which I still have to this day because I really didn't end up using that many of them. So I got the peanut butter cup skinny syrup. I got the uh, iced cinnamon roll skinny syrup. I got a lot of different flavors of Mio, but the one that I'm showing here is like an orange tangerine flavor electrolyte boost one. I thought that it would be really cool to have like a creamsicle flavored OptiFast drink, but that didn't end up working out. It tasted horrible. Do not recommend that one at all. <laughs> um, I did get some peppermint extract as well for some chocolate peppermint, hot chocolate type shakes. And that actually wasn't too bad. So I don't regret that at all. Um, the one thing that I'm not showing here is the decaffeinated coffee that I ended up getting. So I got decaf coffee powder and I really didn't like it when I first had it, but now that I'm post-op and I'm having my premier protein shakes every day, I'm loving putting coffee or decaf coffee into my protein shakes. But I was so nauseated by the taste of the OptiFast that towards the end, the only way for me to get through it was by putting a chip clip on my nose, drinking it as fast as I possibly could, and rinsing my mouth really well with water before I took the clip off. So I also kept a little log in my bullet journal of my first few days on OptiFast. There's a lot of drama in here. A lot of tears were shed. There was a lot of crying. It was not the best time in my life i have to say and i feel horrible for craig having to deal with me for the 10 days that i was doing optifast because it's a roller coaster 
And that's when I really started to realize how dependent I was on my food addiction and how dependent I was on food to keep my mood stabilized. And it was a hard realization to come to. It was embarrassing. And also I was doing all of this during Christmas time. So I was actually on OptiFast for Christmas day. I was on OptiFast for the work Christmases that we had. I didn't end up going to see my family because of COVID, but also because I knew that it would be really hard on me to sit through another meal where all that I could do was drink a chocolate or a vanilla shake. So I'm gonna read you a little passage from day one of my OptiFast journey. Day one was rough. It felt like one of the longest days of my life. I cried a little. I am forgetting that I can't eat anything. And every time I remember, it hurts like the first time that I realized. I'm hopeful that it will get easier each day. So that was something that I didn't expect to happen and also that I totally forgot about after, but you forget that you can't eat. So all the food that you have in your house, all the people that live in your house that do eat will constantly remind you, oh my God, I forgot, I can't eat. I can't eat anything. So the program that my clinic had was OptiFast, sugar-free Jello, and soup broth. That's all that I could have. So nothing to chew on, nothing to crunch on, nothing to snack on, no vegetables, no nothing. It's really intense. And it's a really scary time because you go from eating so much food to eating hardly anything. And it feels really scary and it feels really, really brutal. It feels like a punishment for all of the eating that you ever did in your whole life, but that's not what it's about. The pre-op diet is there to shrink your liver, to get you in the best health possible for your surgery and make everything easier on your surgical team so that everything goes really smoothly. So that was day one and it carries on a lot um, with me forgetting that I'm not allowed to eat and waking up and realizing, oh my God, I can't have breakfast today. Oh my God. I can't have dinner. All I get to have are these shakes that I hate. Yeah, it, it it didn't get much easier, I will say. So it was around day five when I started to realize the bumps that were happening on my tongue and on my lips. And I wrote here, I started to notice a weird feeling on my tongue and I went to find red bumps all over the end of it. I took two Benadryl and it did go away. So I still feel like I'm having a mild allergic reaction. And at that point, I ended up calling the clinic whenever they opened back up again, I let them know what was going on and how I was feeling. And immediately they said, you need to stop taking it right now. That is an allergic reaction. We've had this happen before. It's not super common, but it does happen. I've been really hesitant to share this part of my journey because it does kind of feel like a cop out because I didn't end up having to do the four weeks and five days of OptiFast that I was prescribed to do. I hope that everybody still understands that I did go through the pre-op diet and I did do what I was supposed to do. I'm going to make another video detailing what the pre-op diet looked like for me. My OptiFast journey was a little bit different than some other people's have been but it was still a journey. I have a little clip of me from the end of day one on OptiFast, so I will show you that video now. Hey guys, so um, it is the end of my first day on Opti, and honestly, today has been like one of the longest days of my life so far. I, I didn't underestimate this at all. Like I totally anticipated this happening. I just really hope that it gets better over time because today was rough. I'm anticipating the next week or so to be really brutal. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that today is over and that I get to go to bed soon and that I'm one day closer to the point where I'm maybe not this hungry. <laughs> So that was the end of my first day on OptiFast. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments down below or you can send them to me in a DM on Instagram. So you can go ahead and you can follow me on there as well. Like I said, you can always send me a message. I'm always willing to answer and I'm always willing to help. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.